Recently, we've carried out an experiment to test the rotation to the Earth. If the Earth is spinning at one rotation every 24 hours, that means that every hour it has to turn 15 degrees. And if the gyroscope is mounted anywhere on Earth, it's going to drift. In today's 21st century navigation systems, they're using what's called a ring laser gyroscope. It is extremely precise. If we could simply get one of these ring laser gyroscopes, we would be able to prove once and for all that there is no rotation to the Earth. One of the people in the community actually purchased one for $20,000. But what we found is, is when we turned on that gyroscope, we found that we were picking up a drift, a 15 degree per hour drift. Now, <laughs> obviously we were taken aback by that. Wow, that's kind of a, a problem, <laughs> right? We obviously were not willing to accept that, and so we started looking for ways to disprove that it was actually registering the motion of the Earth and that it, in fact, was registering the motion of the sky. So the next thing that we set out to do was to encase the fiber optic gyro in what's called a zero Gauss chamber to see if we could actually shield the energies being generated by the heaven. And we were unsuccessful with that, unfortunately. So the next thing that we're going to try is encasing the entire apparatus in bismuth. If anything works well, I'd like to release it at the conference. If there's not at a conference in Raleigh, we want to have proof there's no curvature. And if we can do that, it's game over. But the rotation is not looking good at this point. <laughs> we don't want to blow this, you know? Right, right. Yeah. I mean, we've got $20,000 in this yeah. freaking gyro. But yeah, if we, if we yeah. dumped what we, if we found right now, yeah. we would be, it'd be bad. <laughs> it would be bad. So Best what I just happen. told you is confidential. <laughs> okay, I won't say it.